Oh, I guess I can talk as long as I'm recording this, right? So what I'm doing here is just spilling a little chlorine water onto the plate. Oh, now that's, that's two cuttings. I want enough stem at the bottom to be able to stand up in the tube. And I'm really just trimming off the bleached ends but without risking hurting the um, nodes. So there's two. And for the sake of saving space, I'm going to put two plants in one bottle. There's one, there's two. I mean, obviously they came from the same plant. It shouldn't be too much different. Usually I'd clean the plate between cuttings, but again, these are all coming out of the same bleach bottle, so they should all be they should all be clean, or at least the bleach will prevent anything from moving from one to another for the purposes of what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. I cut off one millimeter. A lot of these were taken from a lot of these were taken from lower branches I mean they're really kind of crummy for clones but that's what I like to do I mean if you've got good clone material at the top of the plant for God's sakes take it you know um, it's really using something like tissue culture to salvage the uh, poor material down at the bottom it's going to come back In fact, I'll show you right here, you know, um, these little guys start growing, this is from, this is from yesterday, so it's still skinny, these are from last week, and as you can see, the stem is getting thicker, and those leaves have grown. There weren't any leaves when I put it in here, right? So, st stem is getting thicker, it's starting to grow. I'm going to trim that again. That is um, uh, BC, birthday cake. Couldn't remember if I already trimmed this. Oops. Remember. Work quickly. Oh, see that little stem right there, that little piece hanging off? I'll put that in the bottle without taking the extra time to trim it again. Um, it'll fall off by the next time I transplant. And if you can't see it in the video, there's a puddle of chlorine water right down here. And lastly, once I get it in the tube, I'm tilting it to the side, giving it a shake. I'm just rinsing the um, chlorine off and, of course, giving it a nice little bath of sugar water, nutrients, and everything else. I've only got two more plants, but I'll go ahead and clean the plate anyway. I've been cleaning the plant every five or six plants. There we go. Easy, easy. Grab a clone. Spill a little water. This is pretty far from traditional research tissue culture, but these are all just tricks I made up to make this fast and efficient. I certainly don't want any contamination. I don't want any cross-contamination. Um, these were taken from two of my best plants. I'm going to leave this tall because these bottles are a little wider. This is a flip top version. A little wider than I like. 
but I gotta say it's convenient for that. If I could only find a rack for them. You can probably hear my uh, filter fan running in the background. All the air coming in here is filtered. Obviously, um, I don't want any dust or spores. There's construction next door. And I've got a plastic tent over the plants. So just everything you can do for safety. And these are Cherry OG. Alright, thank you for now.